Seth Rich's laptops may hold deeper secrets than Hunter's. Um, I've been covering the Seth Rich stuff for years now, back on my old channel. I always assumed that Seth Rich was the leaker, um, the WikiLeaks leaker that uh, showed all of um, of Hillary Clinton and her her um, her people's uh, evils that was going on. They first um, he saw the spirit cooking and all that evil stuff and wanted to expose it. From what I believe. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t shirts. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. One unsung investigator who deserves more attention is Ty Clevenger, a self-described, quote, ex-cop, ex-journalist, disgruntled lawyer, muckraking blogger, cheerful optimist. Um, in a sense, all the investigators um, I, I have uh, been highlighting, uh, like myself, um, are optimists even though you know I do talk about a lot of doom and gloom I'm still an optimist because if ultimately if I didn't believe we could um we could we could do better or be better or these some of these people would be held accountable then I wouldn't be doing this but um we continue to believe that that surrender is not an option and that despair is for losers uh for the last several years Clevenger has dug away the dirt surrounded what may be the most revealing mystery of our time, the murder of DNC staffer Seth Rich. Through his legal efforts on behalf of uh, client Brian Huddleston, Clevenger have discovered that the FBI has in its possession not just Rich's personal laptop, but his work computer as well. Quote, I think it's huge, Cle uh, Clevenger recently told Emerald Robinson, on her program, The Absolute Truth. For those who have only recently been red pilled, the 27 year old uh, Rich, a DNC data analyst, has uh, um, was beaten and then shot by unknown assailants on a Washington, D.C. street in the early morning hours of July 10th, 2016. His attackers appear to have taken nothing not his wallet, not his phone. Uh, uh, not his watch. And they 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 call it uh, they still call it a, a a robbery. This begs the question of what his killers were looking for. The media accepted the explanation of the Metropolitan D.C. police that Rich murder was the result of a botch robbery. But how does one botch a robbery after beating and then killing the victim? Quote. I think Julian Assange was telling the truth, Clevenger told Robinson. Two weeks after Rich's death, Assange suggested on Dutch TV that Rich was his source for D DNC for the DNC emails, then unsettling the uh, Democratic Party. Assange offered a $20,000 reward to find Seth Rich's killer. Um, and I covered all that back on my old channel that was deleted. So if you want to check out those old videos, you can... Um, click the link tree in the description and then click on Odyssey and the Odyssey have all of my old videos posted there. Um, the media has mindlessly blamed the Russians for hacking this information but as Clevenger, or Clevenger uh, pointed out the FBI never looked at the DNC computers that were allegedly hacked. Instead the alleged crime uh, victim the DNC took the unlikely step circumventing the FBI and hiring its own investigator the Democrat friendly firm CrowdStrike, and I've done tons of reports on that. Uh, they just, I think they just took photos, took pictures of some, some of the um, stuff that was there. The FBI then took the unprecedented steps of um, accepting CrowdStrike's word that the Russians were responsible for the crime. What the FBI had to ignore was what Assange reportedly told liberal media an um, an analyst Alan Ratner shortly before the 2020 election. The FBI failure to interview Ratner was indicative. Uh, indicative, I mean. Um, on the day after the 2016 election, Ratner, 
a veteran news analyst, participated in a recorded symposium at Embry-Riddle University. Quote, I spent three hours with Julian Assange on Saturday at the um, Ecuadorian embassy in London, said Ratner, more than an hour into the conversation. One thing he did say was the leaks were not from, um, they were not from the Russian. They were an internal source from the Hillary Clinton cam- campaign. So who, the, who else do you think that could have been? <laughs> who ended up dead? You know what I'm saying? An admitted Hillary Clinton supporter, Ratner had no reason to make this up. Not long after Trump's inauguration, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Cy Hearst cited an FBI report relayed to him by one of his most trusted sources confirming Assange's claim. Later that year, DNC head Donna Brazil, we all remember Donna Brazil, the one that uh, gave Hillary Clinton the, uh, the uh, questions before the debate, but dedicated her book, Hacks, to Rich and question whether the Russians had, quote, played some part in his in, um, unsolved murder. None of this interested our media. Clevenger, however, has kept plugging. On December 10th, um, on the newly liberated Twitter, Clevenger posted a thread on what he has learned to date, beginning with the FBI's recent grudging admission of the two uh, rich laptops in possession. Attached to the thread in the declaration declaration of Michael uh, uh, Sedell, the FBI official who tries to explain why, quote, none of the records previously showed up in the five years that Clevenger has been requesting them. Based on the evidence, writes Clevenger, quote, I strongly suspect that the data prepared for the ex- um, exfiltration was found on, Seth's work, on Seth's work laptop, and I strongly suspect that Seth has downloaded that data on a thumb drive. Now, I've done um, reports on this before that um, 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 people, tech people did uh, analysis on the download times of the, um, um, of, that, of the emails. And they said, based on the download times, it couldn't have been hacked. It had to come from someone physically sticking a flash drive in there because the speeds of the downloads was too fast for it to be hacked from like a, a, remote, comu- a remote computer. Um, Clevenger cites... Hearst's intel report about which he testified under oath, quote, indicating that WikiLeaks got the DNC emails from an internal DNC source rather than from Russian hackers, says Clevenger, quote, I suspect the report he's talking about is the FBI report on Seth's work laptop. Concludes Clevenger, quote, the FBI lied and cheated for five years in order to hide that laptop report, and it's still fighting to hide that um, report from the public. What neither the FBI nor the mainstream media can deny is that Seth Rich was murdered on a Washington street and that his killer or killers remain at large. The real scandal here, the undeniable one, is that our media have less than zero interest in finding out just who those killers are. And and this is another reason why I think the FBI need to be defunded, need to be disbanded. We need to just get rid of the FBI because this this is more evidence, more proof that the FBI is doing the work of the Democrat Party. That's all they are is another arm for the Democrat Party. They are the deep state. They are not there to uh, 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 to uh, investigate things on behalf of we the people. They are there to protect the deep state. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh,